So in this part, we're going to work with the add to wishlist from the home page using the Redux toolkit and also add to wishlist from the detail page. So if you see in the demo, we have two wishlists. If we click on this button, it should add this item to the wishlist, okay? Or add to favorite or whatever you like. Simple. And if you go to the slash wishlist in this URL, you're going to see all those information that you have saved. And also if you go to detail page, yeah, if you just click on add to favorite, it if you click on this, it should go into your favorite list or wish list. Okay, so in the both the pages, we need that. So that's why I have added this like this. And also we need to remove this item from the wish list. This is also very important. And also we have to store all the information in the wish list local storage. You're gonna quit this. Okay, so definitely check this out. This is very important. Let's get it started. So make sure I have turned on my local server. As you can see, we have two terminal. One is for npm run dev, I run my backend and also the frontend which is CD client and npm is start to run our client side application. Okay, so first we have to just go and build our slice. Okay, so this is our feature slice. So now I'm going to create one more folder which is wish list. It's already there as you can see it's already there. I need to create wish. I need to create wish slice it should be wish slice dot js okay so definitely it's like that card slice it should be wish slice so i'm gonna copy this card slice and paste on this okay and i need to re uh, i need i don't need that i also don't need increment or decrement any of the functionalities so let me remove this okay i don't need that all I need is two functionalities, which is remove item from the wish list and um, add. Okay, or you can clear this out. Go to car slice, and here I need to change some name. It should be wish slice, and I'm gonna name this re car slice reducers. This is actually working as a reducer name. Wish list slice is actually wish feature, and based on that, you need to give it its name. I already talked about it in the first video where I have set up the Redux Toolkit and article query. So here I'm going to name it with lists. Okay, beautiful. And it will have an initial state. And here I'm going to name it wish lists. Wish list. Okay. And here I'm going to go to and I'm going to name this for the local storage wish lists. And if there is some information in the wish list, just go to json.parse and local storage.get item and just name it with list. It, it is used to get the data from your local storage. I'm gonna save this all the data name. This is the key name wish list. Okay. If there is some information in your wish list, you should store it into the wish list store. Okay, this is the data that holds everything. Otherwise, it, it is zero. Okay. And you can remove this part. We don't need to calculate anything here, just the information is enough. And here I need to change the name add to wish list okay add to wish list it's gonna take a state and action and based on that uh, we're gonna do our stuff and here I need to remove something here I need to delete all the code we don't need anything here okay add to wish list and clear all wish lists it will clear everything and make sure I name it with lists. Make sure I just I have to make it with list items. Okay, with list items. Just rename it. I think this should be a perfect name for this. Okay, with list items. And I'm gonna name this slice name with list. I think this should be the much better naming convention. Add to wish list. This will clear everything from the wish list, and this would be remove item from wish list okay also we can remove everything from here name it wish list state dot wish list is equals to empty when you clean when we just call clear all wish list it's gonna remove everything and make it this array empty wish list item array empty okay and this will make sure you add something from the wish list and you remove this okay so this is very important let's get into it to our ui as you can see this is the home page component and here also i need to have a button to add to wish list okay then i'm gonna see all the information there as well so our setup is done properly on the redux toolkit side 
and then we need to go to our store and store we need to call it we need to call it as wish list okay and we're gonna import wish list slice import wish list slice as you can see it's coming from features wish list slice wish slice as you can see and this is the thing uh, we are assigning wish slice and our store name is this object name is wish list okay it is much better naming convention slice is not defined okay features wish list okay i need to export that properly i think i have made a big mistake there if we go to wish list slice i need to go to make sure it is wish slice dot reducer and here i need to take the name from uh wish slice dot actions i need to export this name uh, these are the main functionality or at uh, these are the actions of these reducers add to wish list and i need to write add to wish list remove item wish item and also clear wish item now i need to go to store and just set up it as you can see i have already imported this wish list slice and just call it wish list this name would be the same name that you can call it from our ui component and then this all the data as you can see wish list item would be stored in our uh, redux store and we can get this using the use selector so what this setup is done now we need to go to our ui component and for that we need to go to our components and go to our product card and here you will see the magic here okay so this is the button of the wish list as you can see this is the heart icon and this is the heart icon to add to wish list and here i'm gonna call on click on click and here on click i need to pass some data like this i can copy this one as it holds some data into the parameter okay and so that i can call it add to wish handler add to wish handler okay and i'm going to pass the product information so this is the product information i have got okay okay so this is the thing that you're going to pass to wish handler i need to copy this and i need to paste it here add to wish list okay when i hit those button it should add the data to the wish list okay so here i'm going to call const add to wish list handler and it as you can see the tab 9 is helping me a lot make sure you install the tab 9 um, this extension which helps a lot to write this code add to wishlist handler when i click on this button when i click on this button this thing would fire and it takes some parameter product and i'm gonna call dispatch and make sure you have the dispatch as you can see and this patch in the dispatch you need to pass add to wish wish list and this should come from our features wish list slice wish slice okay because this is an action that is in the wish wish slice page okay if you go to wish page uh, if i go to features and wish list and wish slice as you can see this is the thing that we are calling it from our product card this is our ui component so that's why i have to use dispatch so that we can pass some information from our ui component to our redux toolkit component which is the slice and here we can pass some product information okay so there is no complexity here you don't need to pass any quantity uh, okay so which list doesn't need to have this thing only card need that but you don't need any other thing you can pass this product information okay it's very simple add to wish list handlers so make sure i name it perfectly add to wish list handler okay now save this thing and it should work perfectly and now if we just uh, let's see if everything is set up properly have some data that we can uh, check it out if we go there and here i can console.log and here this is wish product data and here we're going to go to action.payload i'm going to hold this information if we, uh, we are passing this product information and we need to hold this information into action.payload because all the information would be hold inside that and we should console.log it and check it out and let me check if i go to inspect console and clear every messages and go to redux so that we can see this as you can see we have a new redux store called wishlist store that we have set up properly and it has an object or the property called wishlist items um, which is definitely an empty array in the beginning 
okay similar to cart items as well and here we don't see anything but when you click on anything like iphone 13 pro and it all uh, it it says add to wish list this is fired and this thing is there as you can see we didn't add any functionality yet if i click on again on this s22 ultra as you can see it's also added as you can see this is the information that we are checking in the payload as you can see this title this price 1100 dollar this is category smartphone and all the thing created and updated its image title and this is for the iphone data this is one for the samsung one if we add one more you can see one more so you can see the payload okay you can see the payload if you control or log this this is the payload data as you can see we get every product information if we just check it out as you can see console.log which data action dot payload so this is the data that we have passed definitely check it out this is very important for debugging your application and now action dot payload is getting all the product information now we can work with it okay so i'm just make sure i'm just keep it like that with the comment out and here need to make sure you add this and i need to have some logic if the product is already exists in the wish list uh, then don't add it again you have to block it okay this is very important otherwise you can do this you can add this first make sure i add the product add the product to wish let build item build wish list item okay so build wish list item this is individual item of the wish list so what we can do here we can write if you need to spread this what we get from the action dot payload we need to spread that so these are the thing that we want okay you need to add this to your wish list just call state dot wish list items this state you could just call go to into this of property which is item which is an array and you can push something some data and this item okay this item so make sure you have this and then local storage dot set item and here you're gonna call it wish list item as you can see wish list item and you need to pass this thing state dot wish list items because we already in the wish list items array we already passed what we got from the user action dot payload okay so this is the thing that we have pushed into this array into this area and this is the thing we need to save inside this uh, local storage set item and make sure you just call json.stringify within the stringify you need to do this because if you don't stringify this you cannot save this into the local storage okay so local storage only accept the string value of a json so that's why you need to stringify that this is very common practice in the previous tutorial also i have showed you everything that you need so this is very common practice in every javascript framework or any javascript applications so save this refresh this and let me go and go to redux let me add this one add it to wish list as you can see we have added this product wish list the payload got the data state as you can see in the if you check the state in the wishlist state this is our new store for our wishlist state and in the wishlist which you, as you can see we have the wishlist items before this wishlist items this property was empty because there is nothing but now it has something as you can see in the zeroth index because this is a error and in the zeroth index i have one data okay if i add one more as you can see we have one more and now we have one more data which is index one as you can see if i add one more one plus 11 pro as you can see we have one more information we have three actions for three purposes as you can see we have called this three times okay and now our if we check the state in the wishlist state as you can see we have the wish three of the wishlist items okay and that is also saved onto local storage so if I go to local storage dot get item as you can see we have 
three information. As you can see, this image, this image, this image, we have three product information and all of those, them inside an array. So this is very important to check out. Add to wishlist is done, but we cannot add three product at the same time because this OnePlus, the S22 Ultra and iPhone 13 Pro is already added. We cannot add this thing multiple times, okay? We should have an alert. So what we can do there? We have to check it. So we have to check that out. Let index, okay. Existing item index, we need to find the index. So we need to go to state dot wishlist items dot find index. Okay, we need to go and find its index and go to each item. And we need to check if item dot id is equals to is equals to because each of the wishlist items should have uh, in the local storage you have an error information and each of the information must be having some id each of the product information have an id and if that id matches with the action dot payload dot id that we passed here because in the action dot payload we passed all the information and the unique thing is that we have to pass underscore id which is individual product id that we have to pass in the mongodb we have to use underscore id and also here with the, all the product information also item also have underscore id so this is very important and i'll uh, if i just just go there and let me show you and in the free taxi store as you can see in the wish items each of the item has an underscore id which is unique okay so make sure this individual item you are going and individual item definitely has underscore id if it is equals to action dot payload dot id which is the information user passed if it is similar to that that existing item index is equals to true okay so we have to check if existing item index is greater than or equals to zero it means that uh, greater than or equals to zero means if it is equals to zero it means there is some information and if it is greater than zero also there is some information on this index because array index can have some information in this zero index so if i write array and in the zeroth index i definitely have some value okay or if i write one index that definitely i have some value in the array so in that case if this product exists in that case you cannot do that if this item exists and its value is greater than zero or equals to zero it means there is some information of this product in the uh, wish card or wish list item then you cannot add it so here you will need to write alert this product is already onto the wish list we just write alert else you can write this thing so copy this code and paste it and this checking is only for if it is exist so if i, if I already added this so if i click on this as you can see this product already exists in your wish list so this is very awesome logic and now i just need to show this item to the wish list uh, in the navigation part so we're gonna do it later but at this moment make sure you can delete it from the wish list also but I have to show this information. If I go to there, I need to show that information. So for that, you can go to your, and uh, this, uh, this is the open source React card project, React Solution client. This is my code of this application that I'm gonna show you here. And you can copy everything from here, okay? You can just uh, copy everything and just go to our wishlist page. I think we have a wishlist page. As you can see, we have the wishlist page in the return. We are just saving it and we need to have the wishlist item so that we can show it and for that i can just const and here we have some items use selector use selector is used to get the item from our redux store to our ui component so it should be state dot wishlist and this name should be same as this name so i need to copy this and in the wishlist, we have a property or is the array wishlist item inside that. Okay, we have to also need that as well. So here we need to go to our wishlist page. Okay, this is, this is the same thing and make sure you type check it. And here to have a wishlist item. Wishlist, uh, it should be wishlist items. And this should be similar to if we go to wish slice and this is the name, initial state. Okay. So this is the same name that we have to have. 
okay and make sure i have saved this thing with the local storage as well so which slice okay i have already saved it now it should be stored in our uh, local storage and it will not delete it if we refresh it this information should be in intact I think I have some error which is which is not defined. Okay, so we need to have a wish card. So in the wish card, okay, we need to have one more data which is from our wish card. So if we go components, wish card, and we need to have this everything return everything, and here we need to return everything. We need to import link. So that we can go from which page to our product if we just click on this image and we need to have wish okay i think this is very important because it will get this data and also you can copy this code we are object structuring this this is very common so i'm not um, just doing it very simple okay so this is the thing that we get or empty and you can you can remove this thing at this moment this on click handler and we need to have a font awesome icon and we need to have font awesome icon so for that i can copy this okay and font awesome icon let me check it okay beautiful now if we go to wishlist page and here I can I have to map it and pass this wishlist ID as a key to the wish component and this wishlist object that we are getting for each individual wish items wishlist items we're just mapping through over it okay very simple UI and here I'm going to import this wish component or wish card so let me check it so wishlist is not defined on wishlist is not defined let me check it so in the wish component uh, line number eight we have some problem okay it should be wish or wish list okay so this is the thing we are passing make sure in, in here we are passing wish list okay so as a props so we have to name it properly okay so as you can see we have this ui so this is a very beautiful ui i have designed it for you it is completely responsive as well as you can see it is two column grid three column one column which is really beautiful and here you can remove this item from the wish list and also add more and also you can add this item to cart as well if it is not already there as you can see in the cart it is not there but if you just click on add to cart it should do that so let me do this again so for that you can copy on click on click here you need to just write add to cart handler okay and you need to pass this item wish list item add to cart handler and let me do this and just copy this thing and paste it add to cart handler and basically from the wish list component you can easily add this item to the wish list and this should be product and this wish list you can call it wish list simple and this item and you just dispatch action you have to dispatch some actions to use dispatch use dispatch so that we can send some data and here dispatch add to cart and that is coming from our uh, redux art uh, redux slice which is card slice and in the card slice we have to just pass this data and we can pass the data as product this wish list is actually your product data here and you need to pass the quantity quantity can be it should be number and make sure it is one because here you don't have any input to uh, set what quantity you want you don't have anything just just add to this product add to cart by one quantity okay it is not detail based so you don't need to worry about the quantity 
so this is very important because this is we just need to save it because if we go and let's see in the cards list make sure you watch the previous video as well which i talked about about all the card functionality and here i have passed two information as you can see we have to pass the quantity and payload so in the cards we have to pass the product information and the quantity as well so we need to pass it separately i just go to home page and go to product card as you can see um, here if i show you this uh add to cart handler as you can see we, you need to go to add to cart handler and here as you can see i have passed the product information in the add to cart and also the quantity so these two information are very very important and after it is done okay in the home page we are working on the home page definitely we are working on this home page we have this uh, add to wish list and after it is done make sure you navigate uh, navigate to wish lists page okay so let me save it and just add this to wish list okay after this as you can see we have added this information to the wish list so it is working but now we need to work with the add to cart in the wish list page uh, so we are going to wish this page and go to is card and here this is the functionality we have been working we can already add to cart we just commented out add to cart inside wish list wishlist page okay so that you can understand this is a different page and from this wishlist page also you can add to cart again so this is very very important and we can navigate navigate to we need to import navigate it okay navigate and we need to call this slash cards Okay, after it is done we should see the cards okay let's check it out so as you can see s22 ultra with in the cart items we have the zero item if i add this item to cart as you can see it is taking us to the cards page and you can see one item into the cart and we have the quantity set to one if we just use from the wish list item and for the third in pro as well as you can see it is added you can edit this you can add the quantity remove the quantity whichever you want you already see it there these are the functionality that we have worked on in the previous video now we have to add this we have three items or the four items in the wish list we need to show this into our navigation so if you need to go nav bar and here into the like similar to the wish page go to our wish list page here we need to copy this thing okay go to nav bar and paste this thing get the uh get the wish list item in nav so here we need to copy this and make sure you use your selector and from the use state and we're gonna get the wish list items from our store okay so this is very important and here we can directly in the wish list item here dynamically we can pass this so we just call wish list item dot length okay make sure you check it if if there is any items we need to show that information the length of the wish list as you can see we have the four items set up now we need to work with our remove from the wish list so let's do this this is very simple if i just go to wish slice and now we need to just remove item from the wish list so let um, filtered items filtered item from it should be state dot wish list item the filter and filter each item and which is item dot id that is action dot payload dot underscore id if it is not equals to that and this i think you guys already know about it this item that we are passing is not equals to if this id is not matching with the item that we have in the wish list items array then we need to filter out all the items except the item that we want to delete so in this way we're going to deleting this item and except this item all the item would be filtered out from the array and set to wish list item you can use uh, wish list item dot splice and you can just delete it like that or what you can do you, you need for that you need to find its index okay so we are not using this we so now have to go to state dot wish list item we are assigning this filtered item and here i need to write local storage okay dot set items 
I'm going to stringify and wish dot items. I think it should work. And if I go to wish card, and also here you need to click on on click. On click here you will have m remove remove from wish handler remove from wish handler and which product you want to remove this wish list item okay this is the thing that we need to remove this is the pro whole product information as you can see in the wish list we have the whole products information there remove from wish list handler and it will also hold some data called wish list and we need to dispatch and dispatch some event and which should uh, it should be like remove item remove wish item okay and here you need to pass in the payload we need to pass the item that you want to remove and i think you can copy this and paste it okay save it and it is removed okay uh, from our wish list let's save it and let's check it out it is removed it is removed as you can see it is we have the count only two product there it is removed beautiful and let me add it again wow it is working so perfectly so everything is nice you can do calculations a lot of things also if we want to add to cart you can add to cart here as you can see because and in the cart we have this product as well and we have the four product of iphone 13 pro and if you add it one more as you can see this increases the quantity we have five products now and also if we add this thing again as you can see its quantity increased but we don't have the separate card we're just increasing the quantity because it is already there so i have reused the add to card functionality inside this wish page as you can see we're just passing the parameters that we want to add and make sure the quantity increased by one okay so this is done so perfectly product card this is our home page and we need to make sure we use this functionality again to add to wish list inside our detail page so we need to go to our detail page and here we need to add this handler so product detail page and here we need to and product detail page already also have the add to cart functionality and we also have to add to wish list okay from here so save it and dispatch add to wish list let me call it add to uh, to wish list okay and here i need to pass the product information and after it's passed it should go there and now i need to copy this and use this thing and this is a detail page and this is add to cart and this one is for this is pen is for the favorites so here we need to pass on click handler in the on click handler we need to pass this okay then this function should call and it should have information called product data this is the thing that will be stored there and we need to add this information to the add to wishlet and we are passing all the information to the word store and pass using the dispatch okay then it calculates everything and push the item to our wish list then we can save this information so in the detail page as well if we add this thing to the wish list separate as you can see this product already in the wish list you cannot add this definitely so we need to check it out so we can go to this detail and we have to pass it favorites as you can see it is added so from the detail page as well so all the pages have this information all in this functionality so we have reused a lot of functionality here we just build this and using all of this functionality again and again on different pages so this is a reusable component this is the practice and the good practice of using react and functional component and we're gonna use this redux store and redux toolkit article query to face the data and redux toolkit to make awesome functionality so that we can reuse and use the same features again and again in different pages so this is how you make a reusable code so in the next video, I'll, see, I'll talk about all of this beautiful and awesome stuff. So till then, take care. Bye-bye. I will see you in the next video. And in this time, just share it and as much as possible to help me grow and get the 10K subscribers.